You've gone to, um, I think, a team that have started getting some success. It's very tough, you know, yeah. um, tough with resources. I'd, when I did my research, because I always, when, when rugby become professional, you needed to know who you're playing for when, when the chips are down. You need to know what you're representing, and I always made an effort to do that when I was playing. And I did my homework on Connacht, and to see, if they, you know, was it 10 years ago, they're almost gone. And to see Eric and people go there and get that decision overturned takes a lot of heart and, uh, and uh, passion and fight. And then I started to see that in the performances, and I watched a documentary last year, and I thought, wow. You know, and then it reminded me so much of uh, the struggles of, of my time in, of Samoa, where you don't have all the resources and so forth, and very much David versus Goliath, and where you have to rely on team. And one of the things, you know, all our mates, when we talk about missing rugby, we don't necessarily miss all the playing the game, but it's all the camaraderie and that. And you need that even more so when you don't have what you know the big boys have, and you've got to be able to come together as a group. And, and that's what I love being part of, and that's certainly what we're doing at, uh, what Eric's been doing at Connacht and, and Brad's before that, and, and, and what I, my responsibility is to take that and build on that as well.